I'm very excited about this program, but it is the first time we try to link our work, more agricultural, more food system focus to health and nutrition. CRP4 is really about agricultural solutions to improving nutrition and health for poor people, especially for young children, for women, and for kind of marginalized groups. There's a lot we know about how we can help women, particularly in households, and how critical they are to the nutrition and health outcomes of their families. But they need a lot of support. Over the last 40 years, the CGI research has very much focused on productivity and technology. The adoption of CGI new technologies has helped to move billions and billions of poor people out of hunger and poverty. In CRP4, we have three ways in which we think we can improve the nutrition and health of the people we want to serve. One of those ways is through thinking about value chains for food, all the way from the inputs to agriculture to who produces the food, who processes it, and how it gets consumed, and look at how we can improve the nutritional quality of foods along that whole chain, and how we can improve the safety of foods along that chain. So that the impacts will be that better people have better diets, they have reduced risk of disease, and that will work through that impact pathway. Another pathway is around programs. So there are lots of groups, governments, NGOs, civil society, who have development programs focusing on agriculture, focusing on public health, who want to have better nutrition and health outcomes. And through our research, we hope to provide them with knowledge and tools that can help them achieve what they're trying to achieve when they're development programs. We don't very, know very much about the food systems that poor people rely on. And they're often working in informal markets or formalizing markets. And they're balancing different types of trade-offs. They're trying to figure out how to improve their livelihoods and their diets, but they're willing to accept some kinds of risks. And it's looking at those trade-offs between the risks and the livelihood benefits, which is very different from the kind of avoidance of hazards we see in high-income countries. We have big ambitions to help development implementers and development enablers through our research. And one of the problems there is that these are communities that aren't used to working very well together. One of the, the key innovations in this agriculture, nutrition and health is the chance to do cross-sectoral work. The chance to bring results from agriculture, from nutrition and from health and bring them together. And normally what happens is that we find that things are so complex that we tend to work in our narrow silos. But in this case what we're trying to do is bring together results from health, bring together results from agriculture and say what can work better in this joint space. So it is really the first time we try to bring health and nutrition to the agriculture community. So agriculture people like me like many of our colleagues, to think about nutrition and health when we design agriculture program, when we try to set up agriculture investment priorities. What we're looking at in terms of results are there will be some technologies. We will have a number of biofortified crops, for example, more nutritious food. There will be a number of diagnostic tests to help us understand which diseases are there, to set up surveillance programs, for monitoring what's working and what's not. One of the biggest areas where we're being challenged to provide results is around the kind of evidence and data for what should be the priorities for investments, what should be the main actions that people take. And that's around food value chains, that's around the planning of big development programs, and that's around advice to policymakers and implementers. In the past, it has worked on nutrition, on health, but it's the first time trying to link agriculture to health and nutrition. So we are really looking forward to work with our partners, our collaborators, our stakeholders, clients to launch this exciting program.